So we're here with Anthony Joshua at the O2. Uh, what a performance tonight, Anthony, uh, and got your first title. How would you describe uh, how it went tonight? Um, as, as, as planned, weeks and weeks before the fight was announced, we trained defence, attack, and uh, brutal attacks when you see your opponent hurt. So um, definitely as planned in the gym. Definitely. And uh, what a way to end your first year as a pro with a title around your waist. Uh, mm. How would you assess your first year as a pro? Uh, been really interesting. Like, um, it's been a real, well, not, I wouldn't say hype, I don't create it. There's been some expectations from me and uh, I'm just doing my thing. I'm keeping my feet in the ground. It's been real tough working hard, so uh, that's how I can describe it, a real tough year. And we've seen you out nine times in that year. Do you think next year we'll carry on at the same pace or do you think it'll slow down a bit more now? I think, like, for instance, like fighting Baktov, getting him out of there nice and early, I think that when you think about it, I can go on to November 22nd, no injuries, no cuts, I'm great. If I keep on doing that, I don't see a reason to slow down at all. And um, you mentioned uh, going on to November 22nd, your opponent, Michael Sprott. Um, when do you go back into the gym now, and how do you prepare for that so soon after this fight? Um, we go to get two days off. I'm not too happy with that performance, um, so we're going to get straight back down to work and keep on improving. And you mentioned that in the ring afterwards, uh, when you end the fights early, you still you come back here and you do some more work uh, to make up the rounds you've missed. I mean, is that something you've always done? Not as, a, not as an amateur, because <laughs> half of my fights was always going to three rounds anyway, and that's what they're scheduled for, because the guys that I was fighting with at an early level were elite fighters, you know, world champions and Olympians. But as a pro, where I'm getting them out early and they're scheduled for 6 to 10 mm. and the questions are, can you go the distance? I keep that in mind. So when I do get them out of there early, I think to myself, let me just put in that extra work so I'm not taking, I'm not taking this boxing for granted. No, definitely. And uh, in the press conference, and it's been mentioned all week, some of the domestic clashes that people would like to see you in and people that um, you could be in the ring with next year. David Price was here tonight. Yep. And what a story that is. Two British Olympians, two British Olympic medalists. Uh, is that a fight you would like to ha I'm not see happen? Much on it because a few months ago it was me and Huey. A few months before that it was Anthony and, and a step up. Now it's Anthony and Tyson. Now it's Anthony and Price. Whoever I fight uh, potentially has to get beat. So if it is Price. The same story goes as I just said. Oh, definitely. And uh, finally, how, how are you going to celebrate tonight? There's not really anything major to celebrate about. Um, you know, it's, it's one step at a time. It's only the first year. But the way I'm going to relax is get some good food, <laughs> spend time with the people that I care about, and, uh, and just kick back and have a conversation. And I want to talk about how they enjoyed it. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm more interested in what they, what they saw and who they saw in the crowd, you know, <laughs> our boys talk, you know what I mean? That's what I'm interested in. Because someone mentioned in the press, uh, Frank Bruno was here at ringside. Yeah, so I, that didn't was... see, I didn't get to see Frank, unfortunately. But what an honour it is to have him at the show. Mm. You know? Definitely. Oh, well, thank you so much, Anthony. Congratulations on a very successful year one and uh, hopefully more of the same next year. No, thank you. And I'm sure I'll be seeing more of you oh, as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening.